Okay, for my next object, I'm going to look at uh, M31, the great uh, galaxy in Andromeda, and shows what it looks like there and on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and hit go to. And it'll move to it, take a little bit of time. It shouldn't be too long. Let's see what, how it goes here. Okay, that didn't take long at all. All right. So we can already see it before I even start taking photos. So let's go ahead and set it up here. The function, I'm gonna go to the parameters. Okay, uh, filter, I'm gonna use the astro filter. I don't wanna use the, uh, the dual band because uh, <clears throat> uh, the galaxy, you know, with all the stars, uh, uh, you want the astro filter instead. Okay, then the shutter speed, I'm gonna go 15. Okay, the gain, I'm going to go down to about 70. Actually, I think I'll do 60. And then the count, I'll leave it at 300. So, here we go. Okay, all i got to do now is, uh, as you can see, it's already kind of in there a little bit. I'll hit uh, taking the first photo. It's doing this initialization. As soon as this is done, and it'll start taking the photos. This is always uh, a great object to take photos of. You can see it in the uh, evening sky. If you're away from the city of lights, you can see it with the naked eye. And it, since it's two and a half million light years away, it's one of those objects that you can say that uh, you can, with your naked eye, you can see uh, two and a half million light years, which is quite a ways. Oh, it's getting closer. Okay, it's already starting. It's, it's taking the first photo. When it does the second one and it stacks it, I'll see it down here. It'll show there yeah, one. And when it stacks it, you should be able to see it a little better. And there we go with number two. And again, it's going to do 300, so it's already showing up. You can already see uh, 110, uh, the one above, and the other one down here, uh, 32. So they're already in there. You can already see some of the uh, dark dust lanes in the galaxy. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna let it do its run. At the end, I'll show what it looks like and after the processing.